The Llama 2 models are a really great way of running an effective AI locally. Well, now you can run one in a REPL too, giving the option of building AI tools that do not phone out to the internet. Let's take a look at how we build that. Okay, so your first job is to go and fork the REPL. I've set it up so it will not run from the cover page because of licensing issues with the model means that we can't distribute it with the REPL that you're about to fork but we can automatically download it. So fork your REPL, it's a paltry 308 megabytes to start with, and then we can get started. Now, when you click run, the very first thing that will happen is it will go off to Hugging Face and download the Llama 2 7 billion parameter model. Now it's gonna get a very specific version of that from a different user because what we're looking for is efficiency in running inside of a REPL. So, that'll go down and download a 3.8 gigabyte image. If you're wondering how on earth a REPL is going to store a 3.8 gigabyte image, then you need to take a look at our videos on expandable storage and how that's gonna work. Expandable storage for our Hacker and Pro customers will allow them to have REPLs up to 20 or 50 gigabytes in size, depending upon which plan you've got. And you don't need to do anything fancy, it'll just work. Now with that done, the model gets put into the file tree and our next job is to get that model up and running. So you can see that it loaded up pretty quickly and actually I've scrolled down to the code to show you what's going on here. The setup is very, very similar to the code we've seen previously using things like Langchain and using things like the OpenAI libraries directly. It's very, very straightforward. It's gonna use the C Transformers library, which is gonna allow us to talk directly to the transformer model and send it information. Now, the model and the tokenization steps are all done for you, but it's this wild true loop at the end that allows you to ask it questions. Let's ask it a very simple question. Now you'll notice there the CPU's spiking instantly. This is actually working on the LLM using the CPU only, which is actually pretty cool, but it does mean it's gonna be a little bit slower as a result. One of the things we can do to solve this problem is apply a boost. So I'm gonna click on my REPL title. I'm gonna apply a boost and it's gonna give me options. Now, I'm gonna be dramatic and whip it all the way up to 32X and activate that boost for myself. That should give me much more CPU power and you'll see straight away that the amount of tokens per second is really whipping through now. So you can run this on the completely free tier, you can run this on the basic tier, but if you can boost your REPL, you'll see you get really, really good token per second responses. Now, of course, we may need to do some prompt engineering here to get it to stop talking because Llama 2 does like to talk like some other people on your screen right now. Let's adjust our prompt a little bit and try it again. Now, you'll see when we ran it that time, it already had the model, so it didn't need to worry. Okay, so that prompt engineering didn't work. Let's try one more time to see if we can get it to output in a more concise way. Okay, so we almost got there, but if you're interested in prompt engineering, go and watch this video I did with Zahid to find out all about the skills and the techniques you can use to tweak your prompts to get exactly the output you want. Now, interestingly, and what I like about this, is actually, if you noticed, as we were running that, the CPU only hit about 46%. So what I'm actually gonna do is turn my boost down to a much cheaper boost, where we should get the same response. So let's try again. And you'll see there, we're actually getting great responses from that with much less CPU utilization and running at a much cheaper rate. Now, of course, you can engineer this model into pretty much anything and build a web app entirely in Replit that never needs to go off to an expensive third-party service or send your data out to a third-party service. Your data can remain contained within the REPL and use AI to create a chatbot that can work within it. This is going to open doors for the types of things you can build on Replit and all because of expandable storage and boosts. Now, of course, the good thing about Llama 2 is Meta have been really, really kind 
with their license, where you can use it completely for free commercially as long as your MAUs don't exceed 700 million. That is most companies in the world, actually. And that means there's a great deal we can do if you're a startup, if you're an individual developer trying to build something with an AI and you're trying to keep your costs down, this is the perfect way to do it. Fork this REPL and get started. Now, it's also worth saying that REPLIT's mobile app means that you can actually access Llama 2B from your phone wherever you are in the world. Launching the app, we can simply click on our REPL and you'll see here we're straight into the app. So let's click run, just like before we load the model up and let's ask the question. And you can see there we've now got Llama 2 running on our cell phone, which is pretty impressive. So of course, the next step is deploying your own custom code. Once you've built this into a web interface, once you've customized it to your heart's content, you can simply use Replit deployments right here from the editor to deploy your app to the world with a scalable VM solution. This means that you can host everything from Replit all in one place and keep everything on that one virtual server with data going nowhere else. This is a big deal for those of you with data privacy concerns or that just don't want to be paying the fees for models like OpenAI or worry about their reliability. Why don't you go and build something with Llama 2 on Replit? We'd love to know what you built with it.